In today's video, we are going to be talking about moving off ball so that you can create more shots for yourself. In today's video, we are really going to be looking at Tyler Hero back when he was in the NCAA. I hope that you enjoy. Let's get down and let's check this out. Okay, so in this first clip, we're having a screen from the post player on the guard. Now, Tyler Hero is over on this side of the court. Now, if you're in this position and we have a point screen up top, what we are really looking to do is to try and create openings for us to be able to score. Now what happens in a screen like this is the fact that when this screen happens we're going to have a player who is fighting over in some cases and if this player hedges which means that he pops out to stop the forward drive for that guard what happens is your player on this side he is going to step in and try to cut off that rolling player which then allows you to be able to pop up to the free throw line extended also known as the wing to be able to get yourself an open shot and that's what we see right here he's able to pop up this post player is very good because now he's going to try and post up that smaller player which gives us multiple different opportunities that we can exploit we can take that shot but we can also feed that low post now the benefit to feeding the low post is now you're creating a double team down there where now he could set a screen away but we're not talking about that we're talking about the fact that Tyler Hero is a really good shooter anyways and he can bang that shot every single day and if you're in that situation you can do that as well now this is a very similar situation. You always want to try and find an open area of the court. So what we have here is a screen up top for the point guard. We have Tyler Hero on this side, which is essentially the weak side of the court. We have the ball on this side, which then technically makes that the weak side. Now after that screen, what happens? Well, we have a couple of help defenders coming down to stop that that roller, that player who's cutting towards the basket and then from there we have Tyler Hero who's able to jog up top even this player is not even paying attention other than the fact of saying hey get in that way contest that cut in which case Tyler Hero is able to then get that ball up at the point by doing a quick point cut now what he does here is actually very good and you can do this as well so what he does here is he does jog up top but when he catches that ball check that out as soon as he catches it he's already in a stance has that negative step where now he can now push off from that toe this player's momentum is bringing him in this in the forward position in which case he's able to blow by that defender very easily he now draws a secondary defender which is good that's what you should and want to have happen when you drive into the paint and now when he does drive this player in the post he sags off he doesn't want his man to be able to score because that would be negatively on him there's no help side defender coming down for that anyways which then allows Tyler Hero to be able to jack up a nice floater now in this clip we have Tyler Hero up top and we're going to be having another screen from the post coming up but this is again very similar to the first play that I was showing you except it's a little bit different at the same time so we do have the player who does take a quick hop to kind of cut off that rolling player. This player could have easily passed out to this wing or at least did a bounce pass to him who could have kicked it out that would have been a great option but we have Tyler Hero who is moving up from the corner up to the wing. Now because of that, Tyler Hero is able, again, look at the preparation that he has. He has his feet nice and wide and he's able, because of the wide base, he's able to do a quick jab towards that left side as soon as he lands. This is something that every single player needs to learn how to do. Quick land jab, which then gets that player off of his balance, which then allows Tyler Hero to then drive towards that right side. Now with Tyler Hero able to drive towards the right side, he's able to finish with that layup. This was all set up from him moving from the corner up to the wing, and then from there he's able to catch that ball, land, jab, all in one motion. That was all set up because of that. And this is what I've told a lot of players, is you can make a career, a legit NBA career out of just simple cuts moving off ball. We all seen it with Rick Hamilton when I was a young kid. Now we're seeing it with players like Tyler Hero. He did it in the NCAA. He's doing it in the NBA as well. Quick corner to wing cut off of a screen and then he's able to get that ball preparation when catching that ball. 
always want to prepare when catching it. Always want to know what you're going to do. Now, when he catches that ball, nice wide stance, and he's able to catch that ball foot negative step almost right out, and then he's able to drive right, and he's able to protect that ball using that left arm. Very hard to block, very easy to get a foul call off of that, and he's able to finish. Now, it still is confusing to me why he didn't go much higher in his draft, but either way, he is a fantastic player. We can learn a ton from a player like Tyler Hero. I hope that this video has helped you become a better wing player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.